Uh, scam starts with Chantel calling Brian's mom. Chantel thinks she left something behind last weekend at the huge well, party. It was something very important and actually quite expensive. Brian joins in after that to take the heat from mom. Let's listen in to today's 95 X phone scam. Hello? Hey, is Brian there? No, he's not right now. Can I take a message? Do you know when he'll be back? Oh, my gosh. I'm not quite sure. He hasn't checked in, um, but I do expect him within maybe an hour or so. Okay, um, my name is Chrissy. Oh, hi, Chrissy. Um, and I left something there at the party, and I need it back. I'm sorry, did you say party? Yeah, we had a party there last weekend. Um... Are you sure you have the right house? Well, yeah. I mean, I know who Brian is. I mean, it was... It, okay, so it was Friday night was the party, and then it was... This past Friday? Yeah, and then it was Saturday and part of Sunday. It was wild. Oh, oh. Awesome. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Christy. Um, I, I'm not aware of any party, and I'm not even sure that you even have the right house. My son wouldn't have had a party here. He threw us the best party. Absolutely, it was there. <laughs> okay, well... What is it you're looking for, anyway? I left my Victoria's Secret um, bra and panty set there, and I wouldn't care if it was just, like, uh, like some <laughs> granny panties and a regular bra from, like, Walmart or something, but it's really You expensive. left your undergarments in my home. Yeah. Why would you have left undergarments in my home? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really baffled here, so bear with me. Uh, you, know, you left I mean, undergarments in my house at a party that was supposedly here last weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they're <laughs> at the top of the stairs, the first bedroom on the left. So if you could just check That's for me. That's my room. That's mine in my husband's room. Excuse me? What were you doing in my bedroom? Ew. What were you doing in my house? Well, I was at a party. Like, everybody like everybody was there. There had to have been at least 100 people there. 100 people in my... Oh, my God. At least. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, there are no undergarments of that description in my house. Okay, well, could you just let Brian know maybe he put them in his room? But I really need them back, okay? And what is your name again, ma'am? It's Chrissy. I'm not a ma'am. I'm way too young. I will certainly give Brian that message, Chrissy. Okay, Thank cool. you for calling. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Have a great day. Thanks. All right, now it's Brian's turn to call Mom. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. How's it going? You've been, you've been trying to call me? I got a couple of missed calls, but uh, you didn't leave me a message or anything. I have been trying to call you, and why haven't you picked up your phone? Where are you? I don't know. I've just been hanging out with some people. Mom, we're downtown. I was going in and out of service. We have something we need to discuss. I want to yeah. know what happened in our house last weekend. What are you talking well, about? I, I was nothing gone. happened. Nothing happened? Uh, maybe a party, a hundred or so people? No, what? No, I had, I mean, I had a, a couple guy friends over to play poker, but, I mean, that, that was about it. Don't lie to me, Brian. I know what went on. You had a party. Well, you I, had a hundred or so people in this house. Uh, where are you getting this from? How would you even think that I would have a party like that? I didn't think you had a party. I was told you had a party, a hundred or so people, and that you get the best party. Well, well who, who told you that? A uh, girl named Chrissy ring a bell? All right, Mom, here's the story. I mean, I, a couple guys came over. We were playing cards. My buddy Dan, you know, I haven't seen him forever, so I figured I'd invite some girls over. Uh, things started to get a little out of hand, so I had to kick a few people out. And then when they left, they told more people about the party. Everyone started coming over. I kept it under control. You know, I, I've been telling you I've been hanging out with this girl, Christy, for a while. I, I really like her and everything. Uh, she actually stopped by. That does not give you permission to take her to our bedroom, Brian. That's an invasion well, no, no. of our privacy. She stopped by, and there's so many people downstairs that I, I had no privacy. The only place I had to go was your and dad's room. I mean, I mean, it's, well, no worries. I, I cleaned everything in the morning. I changed all the sheets. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. You changed my sheets. You used my bed. Her undergarments are missing, and now she's looking for them. Do you have she, them? She, she left her, her underwear in, in the room? She left underwear and bras, what she told me, and I told her you'd call her back. She thinks they're in your room, and I, you're lucky I haven't gone in your room. No, no, don't go in my room. Don't go in my room. I'll, I'll look for it when I get home. All right, Brian, right now, I want the truth. What happened in our home? And tell right, me Mom. now the truth. Right, well, I've, I've got this reputation at school of throwing, throwing a good party. So when my buddy Dan showed up, I said, you know, let's throw a bash this weekend. My parents are going to be gone. So, like I said, we were playing cards. I had a few girls over. They ended up bringing jello shots, like maybe 50 or 60 jello shots. Uh, we brought in, like, maybe two or three kegs. My buddy, actually, you know, he's been uh, doing the DJ thing downtown. He stopped by. He, he had, had all the equipment. DJ kegs in our house? Oh, my it gosh. Was, well, no, no. They're, they're out back. We put we put one in the hot tub, and then we put one on you the You used the our there. hot tub, Brian. I can't trust you anymore. This is this is outrageous. And, I mean, Mom, don't, don't, don't freak out. I mean, there's only, like, two, 250 people. I mean, our house 250 people. Brian, 
I, I can't trust you. I don't want you living under our roof anymore. That's, you you, you said I can't live there anymore? No, I really am going to ask you to look, start looking for another place to live. You want to be responsible? You're going to do it on your own time, not on mine. How am I supposed to throw a huge party like that in a tiny little apartment somewhere? Brian, you lied to us. You you had sex in our room. That's unacceptable behavior oh, my, for me, Brian. I used protection. It's not like I wasn't being safe like you guys taught me. I don't want to know this. This is too much information, Brian. I can't talk to you anymore about this. Right now, Brian, all you have to think about is moving out. This was the last straw. 250 people in our home. I am so disappointed and upset with you right now. You think this is a big joke. Mom, you sound pretty upset about that party at your house. Excuse me? Janet, it's Mike and Chantel over at 95 X. Brian is phone scamming you and there was no party. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are moving out. For putting me under this you know, threat, I didn't Brian. I'll go outside to move out. <laughs>